another Tau overflow. Can curse be transformed? Yes, it can be transformed. First of all, you have to know what is curse. Curse is unconscious exuberance of inner discontent and disharmony. Curse is unconscious exuberance of inner discontent and disharmony. Each moment we interact with the objects and beings, with the people, in response to emotions, in response to objects. And when you do not understand it, there is lack of harmony within, then there is an exuberance or explosion of emotional disturbance. It can be expressed in the form of curse. Can curse be transformed? Yes, it can be transformed, but you have to understand first, change your thinking, that curse is bad. If you consider that curse is bad, you will create an inferiority complex in you and then it cannot be transformed. You are every day in kitchen, there are the waste. If you consider the vegetables that you use, it has two aspects. It is consumable item. It has an outer layer and inner layer. Outer is useless. You cannot consume it. The inner you can consume it. The peels of potato, peels of onion, peels of other vegetables. So what are these? These are the curse of potato and other vegetables. What you do, if you allow these to remain as it is, they putrefy, they rot, create many kind of diseases. Am I right? And if you know the proper art of disposing it off, you can dispose off in garbage bags, that is another way. You can dispose it off and finish. The wise man does. He converts all these rotten foods, leftover foods, peels, and all those things, <coughs> and converts into compost. Is it not right? What is compost? Is the transformation of curse of the leftover food from the kitchen. Kitchen is a place just as your mind is a place where many things happen. So in kitchen vegetables are made, you are making things for the people, for yourself. So in the mind the same thing happens. You are dealing with husband, your wife, your children, your employers, employees. So you are doing something in the, just as you do in the kitchen. So there are certain things left over, certain things are unused, certain things cannot be consumed. So that when expressed in an unconscious exuberance, it becomes curse and that can cause damage to you in the environment and all around you. If you take all those rotten food, every day some food is left over in the house, which has developed worms or peels which cannot be consumed, you can have an unconscious, ex unconscious 
exuberance or disposal you can use dispose them of consciously so what the wise man does he makes a hole on the ground and keeps on putting all the leftover food in that hole and is covered when a certain amount the that hole is full then he covers it and leaves it for a certain period of time after that all that could have caused disturbance all could have caused virus infection is converted into usable composed manure organic manure am i right and then it is used to fertilize the plants as the best manure in india during the and those places where sugar cane is grown the bagas from sugar cane which is called in hindi parli after the cane is juice is extracted what is to be used with that it is burnt when it burnt it causes environmental pollution so what you can do if you are wise enough you know how to transform this bagas or parli you can convert it into ethanol a very useful substance much cheaper manufactured if produced out of the wastage so you have used the sugarcane juice from that jaggery molasses sugar and other things are made and from the leftover you had leftover bagas instead of burning it and creating the environmental pollution you have transformed it into ethanol and when it is much cheaper than gasoline and when it is mixed with gasoline with a, in a certain proportion the cost of the gasoline comes down it is a benefit to humanity there are so many things the when existence has created given you intelligence to use your leftover emotions putrefied emotions the inner discontent inner disharmony in a creative manner the similarly in the scheme of existence in the life of a plant there comes autumn season when all the leaves from the tree fall and they create new sins all around so what the person does gathers all of them puts it in a hole allows these to rot and it fertilizes the tree once again so you can allow all these emotional disturbances how can you transform your curse now there is a process for everything process for disposing of in a creative manner the leftover food and the peels is to convert into compost to make the compost you dig a hole in the ground in your garden or any suitable place and there you are using it to make the compost now purely you convert it into through an alchemical process where this alchemical process changes the quality of the substance and makes it into useful so when you use the alchemical process to convert your curse into curse into a blessing it can transform you and first it has to transform you remove all the the negative effects of the curse from your being and then it will become useful for others also so the leaves that fall 
I gave you the example, so many examples are there. So many different examples. The when you are disposing of garbage, the there is certain I garbage which is recyclable, like paper, cardboard, it can be recycled. Even plastic can be recycled to form the plastic balls which are used as a raw material for the plastic industry or you can dispose of the way you do it so it cannot be decomposed it can create problems I have heard a cow she was having problems and when it was operated upon she has a number of plastic pieces in her stomach but if consciously that plastic has been disposed of and recycled, it would have made a new decorative items. The paper that you dispose of is con properly con disposed of and in Kashmir they make the paper items that is called paper mashi. Def different decorative items are made which are the piece of attraction for tourists. You have to know the art of disposing of, transforming the waste. Just as curse is a waste of emotional disturbance and inner disharmony. If you dispose it of properly, it can become a useful item. So how to do it? There was a Sufi, nobody knows his name. He belonged to a place called Jibrish, a place called Jibar. So nobody knows what was his name. <clears throat> he used to lie down under the open sky and looking at the sky, he used to curse whatsoever comes to his mind, he will use it. The, you can, this was catharsis. When it is used as a catharsis, it is released. When the disturbance is released, then what happens there? The residue becomes a creative energy. The energy water tap has remained closed for a long time or malfunctioning so the water gets rusty. So you allow the water tap to do the catharsis for five minutes, ten minutes. So first the water gets clear but the order is still there, bad smell. When you continue to allow it to run for a little longer time, it will change its quality, it will become normal. So catharsis is the way to transform your curse, emotional disturbance. You can do it in a different manner. You can use jogging as a way of catharsis to, to uh, dispose of, transform your inner discontent, you can do the uh, dance, cath cathartic dance, you can do the shaking of the hands or whatsoever method. It can be used in a creative manner. Then all that you considered bad, but you considered that you did not like or nobody liked in you, can become transformed in you and that will nourish and nurture you thus just as the rotten food becomes a compost and fertilizes and nourishes and nurtures the plant so too your putrefied emotions will nourish and nurture you mm -hmm.